Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Yuritza. For those of you who don't know me already, I post about three times a week. So I'm going to be doing these Faro Rocher nails. And I actually made the nails out of the wrapper. So you'll see me later on take it apart and put them on there. But I'm just going to start with my e file by Kira Sky. And I'm going to be taking a fine bit and just going over that harsh line. That way when I apply my acrylic, it applies all nice and smooth. So the practice hem that I'm using for those of you wondering is by Nail Supply Glamour. It's a very affordable one compared to other ones that I've seen online and it works pretty good. The only thing I would say is that the tips do get pretty loose so you might just have to hold on to the tips while you're working on the nails. But this step is not too important if you're doing it on a practice hand so it can save you some time but this is highly recommended if you're doing it on a client because you don't want them having any ridges on their nails. Now taking my clear acrylic, I'm just going to be using that as the base for the marble and this clear acrylic is from Nail Supply Glamour as well. It's just the basic clear one. It's very affordable as well so I'm just going to start by applying it at the tip, making sure the cuticle area looks nice, cleaning up any edges. And also a tip that I recommend is whenever you apply your acrylic, you want to make sure you're holding your finger down if, you've, if you have issues with having your cuticle flooded. Um, when I first started, that is a big thing that I struggled with was getting a lot of acrylic on my cuticle. But if you hold the finger down, it just makes it easier because the acrylic will slide down. So I'm just taking another bead and applying that a little bit more towards the bottom. Now when it comes to long nails, I do tend to struggle a little bit with applying the acrylic. And it's like I mentioned in the last video, I don't have the brush that I want right now. Um, I do work a lot better with bigger brushes. I just haven't had time with everything going on in Texas with the whole weather situation. But you guys will see me use a bigger brush in the future. So now I'm just taking the Faux Rocher wrapper. I went ahead and took the chocolate out and I'm kind of just spreading it open. Making sure that it is nice and flat that I can apply it. And I'm just cutting little pieces. That way I can apply that on the marble hand. So I'm just going to be taking two acrylics. I'm going to be taking the clear one. That I've been using and I'm going to be taking the white one. It's called Milky White by Glitz and Glamour. It's very pretty. It's also glow in the dark. So I'm just going to be dipping my brush in the monomer and then I go in both of the acrylics and get a little bit of each. That makes it create one bead and then I just apply that on the finger and mix it around with my acrylic brush. Now when it comes to doing marble this way, it can get a little bumpy and messy just because you're kind of just mixing it around and letting it sink into the nail. I don't recommend tapping on the top because it can ruin the marble-like look. As long as you're going in on the edges and cleaning it up, making sure that you're keeping that shape, then you should be fine as long as you're just applying a bead under every application. Now just taking the clear coat, I'm going to be encapsulating that. That way when I go in to drill, it doesn't ruin any of the marble. So I'm just going to be applying a top coat of that. Now taking the gold flakes, I'm going to be doing kind of like a di diagonal line using the gold flakes. So I'm just applying that on there. And before I applied it, I applied a really thin layer of acrylic. That way it can stick on there a little bit better. So to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere, I went ahead and encapsulated that. Now I should have done this before I applied the first clear coat, but I was just kind of doing things in my own order. So I just went back and applied a good amount, just enough to where if I go with the drill, it won't ruin it. So now taking the Ferro Rocher packet, I'm just going to be creating basically a straight line to where it's going to fit on the nail so as you can see i'm just cutting it up into the shape of the nail and then i'm going to go and apply it on the nail to make sure it's a good size and just cut off any excess foil that i see that won't fit on there Look at this love we found. 
so after cutting out the foil i'm just going to be applying a bead just to make it sticky to where the foil can stick on there and as a base so i'm just going to apply it at the top and then just work my way down just making sure it's a good thin layer So while the acrylic is still wet, you want to go ahead and apply it right after. And as you can see, it went on there very smoothly. It's sticking on there nicely. So I'm just going to be cutting off the excess, kind of curving it into the nail just so I can make sure I cut it and it's even. <laughs> So after pressing down the foil into the nail, I'm just going to be encapsulating that with the acrylic just to make sure that when I go into file, nothing is being ruined. <laughs> For the third nail, I'm just going to be doing the same thing that I did with the first nail. I'm going to be doing the marble with the gold flakes. Now, you can't really see it on camera because I did use a milky white. So, I do recommend using a white that's a little bit more pigmented. Um, just because you can't really see it on camera, you will towards the end once I apply the gel. But that's just another tip. So, like I said, I'm just going to be applying the clear acrylic, making sure there's a good enough coat on there as my base to apply the marble. So So for the pinky, I decided to just do white just so I can have a variety of colors and I felt like it looked really nice with the marble. So I'm just going to be taking that same milky white color by Glitz and Glamour and just applying the coat on there. <laughs>
going in with my Mia Secret file. This is the 100-100 file and I'm just going to be starting at the tips, making sure that the nice is all straight. And I do recommend a 100-100 for shaping. That is what works best for me. And I'm basically just going under the nail, making sure the cuticle area looks all nice. After making sure my shape is all nice and straight, I'm just going to be going in with my 5-in-1 bit by Cure Sky. So I like to start at the cuticle area and then work my way down. So after filing, I did go back in with my file and file the top of the nails. I just did not get it on camera because I did get out of frame, unfortunately. But I'm just going to be taking this big buffer and I'm going to start by going in with the rough edge, making sure I'm getting rid of any harsh lines. And then I like to go in with the soft edge and just soften up all those edges. <laughs> So I went ahead and washed the hand just to get all the dust off of there to apply my gel coat. And I am running out of this gel coat so you will see me kind of struggling trying to go back and forth to fully cover the nail. But as you can see the marble is showing up a lot better. So I'm just going to be applying this on all the fingers and then putting it under the UV lamp for about 2 minutes just to be safe.
could decide stay on my play I got so many funny games We could do today And we can compare Inside our bed Stay under the covers Make this long night last And I love To play This case With you All I so that's going to be it for the video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this is a very cute, affordable way to make gold nails. You can also remove the sticker if you don't like it. And there you just have gold nails made out of Ferrero Rocher chocolates that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys got for Valentine's Day. Love you guys. See you in the next video.